Roofs across green country are buckling from the snow. When we came out in the warehouse, we saw that it had collapsed from the weight of the snow last night. Larry Johnson with Restore Hope Ministries says they haven't been able to deliver food to families for a week. On Monday, they hope to start up again. It's just sad because we know a lot of families could use the food today and you know, we're not going to be able to help them and that's, that's the worst part. The roof collapsed over the ministry's perishable food. Johnson hopes to save most of the canned food. We're just going to open as soon as we can and as much as we can until the, all these families get served. Since the blizzard hit last week, roofs have collapsed at several businesses, from the Hard Rock Casino in Catoosa to the stage store in Broken Arrow. Roofing companies are busy shoveling heavy snow off of buildings. Once the roof collapses, it can bring the whole structure down, so it's very important that, uh, you know, you get it off as soon as we can. On Monday, it took a crew of more than a dozen to shovel snow off the roof of Trinity Episcopal Church. There's tons of weight up here, just on this roof alone. And I'm not too sure we don't need to put warning lines up over there. Jim Lane with ABEST Roofing says flat roofs collect a lot of snow and are most at risk for collapse. Uh, obviously, if, if they start seeing some type of uh, sagging or, you know, they hear something tearing, that's, that may be an indication that they, they have a real serious issue going on right then. Lane says he's dug out a lot of roofs, but this storm is something else. I've been doing this since 1975. This is, this is the worst.